welcome back savages to another video i am super excited to have in front of me right here the hifix mgw310 multi-platform geonet and wing bits combined unit so i ordered this back in october time mid-october when it was launched and it's just arrived this week before we do the unboxing just a quick word on shipping i ordered the mgw310 directly from hifix.ai i'll leave a link at the top right hand corner of the video giving you a 10% discount code of any item on the highfix.ai website and it includes 10% off this very MGW310 and you'll save over $100 easily with that discount code. In terms of communication when it comes to shipping, both Highfix and the courier, which was DHL in this instance, have been very good. So with that said, let's crack on with the unboxing. So this is the box that the Highfix MGW310 comes in. It's a plain white box, but it's very solid. It's got high fix spatial intelligence embossed with a logo on the top. That's nice to see. Other than that, there's nothing else printed on the box. There is a magnetic holder right here on the front. So I'm just going to lift that up and it opens the entire box. Very nice. So we've got some padding right here to protect the contents of the box. So we'll just lift that out the way. So the first thing you'll see in the box is a card with a QR code on it. That takes you to the highfix.ai website where you can get to these user manuals right here. Next up, we've got an antenna. Quite a smallish one. What I'm going to do is actually measure this as well because I know there's a lot of people out there interested in the measurements of what the box contents are. So we've got the antenna right here. The antenna is just over 31 centimetres long. In terms of thickness, it's about one and a half centimetres. In terms of the connector on the actual antenna, that's what it looks like right there. Next up, let's have a look at the actual station itself. Wow, it's pretty heavy. Looks really well built. The red part is almost like a rubber compound going all the way around. In terms of connectors on the actual MGW310, that's what it looks like from the front. So you've got an auxiliary one, auxiliary two, and this is the mains in right here. I'll just take these protectors off to show you what the connections look like on that. And that's what they look like up close. If we turn it slightly to the right, you can see there's a SIM slot right there. And if we turn it the other way, there's some LED indicators with power, PPS and status. If we turn it upside down, we've got a mounting point right here. And I presume that's what this metal rail's for right here. And that should just screw into there. So if you have a wall bracket anywhere, you'll be able to clamp it onto this and this can hold it up that way. So that's what that is used for. On the top, this is where our main antenna is going to connect to. So again, there's a piece of rubber just on here. You can pull that off. And that's what the connector looks like. And our antenna, which is this one here, should just screw onto that. And that should go on nice and easy. So in terms of dimensions of the actual station itself, let's just do a quick check. It's around about 16 centimetres across. And it's about 10 centimetres high. So on first impressions overall, I've got to say the actual main unit right here, very well built. Looks very robust and durable plastic on there, and yeah, very impressed. So what else do you get in the box? Get some fittings, screws and some clips. So next up is the mains adapter, right here. It's a two pin one, and I'm just going to hold it up to the camera so you can see the spec on it says output 12 volts at 2 amps and the other connector looks like that we'll have a look at that shortly and see how it connects 
You also get a converter if you need to convert that plug to a Euro style one, like that. And luckily for me, they've included a UK style converter as well. So your two pin just goes into that. And then you've got that connector. I'll leave a link in the description to the adapter I use and it's similar to this it's a two pin to three pin. The one I use is a lot safer because it's earthed as well but it works in a similar way to the ones that have been included in this package so it's good to know that at least it provided a variety of different adapters if needed. So next up is the cable that provides power and data to the station and you've got this connector right here which will connect right there on one side and then on the other side you've got two cables which come out. The first one right here will go to the mains adapter. So there's our mains adapter that just plugs into there. And the second one will go into your ethernet port. So first of all let me just measure the length of this cable. So I can confirm the cable length is 10 meters. So there you go. What they do provide though is if you need a longer length is one of these ethernet extenders. So you've got an ethernet on one side and on the other and what you can do is connect one end to the existing adapter right here and then put your own cable on so you can extend the length beyond 10 meters as well. You'd have to obviously do the same with your power as well if that's the case but you do have that option and it's nice that they've included that as well. So there you go, Savages, that is the unboxing of the MGW310 combined GeodeNet and Wingbits weather station. I won't be doing the setup because this is going to be hosted elsewhere, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what's included in the package. As mentioned, if you want to get 10% off this, then go to highfix.ai and use the code SAVAGE, and that'll get you 10% off the MGW310, but you'll get 10% off any item on the highfix.ai website. I'll also leave links in the description where you can buy this, if you have any questions about the MGW310 or anything about the setup, please leave them in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.